Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. I uh, hope you have been well lately. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a tutorial that I've been uh, receiving a lot of questions about on my streams and that is uh, doing delayed breezies or delayed musties, I should say. Uh, Cause they're all basically musties. Um, you know, shout out musties. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing a tutorial on musties and how to do delayed versions of them. Um, the delayed, you know, it's kind of pointless, but it's also like very satisfying to hit. Uh, can throw people off guard because you know they're not really expecting you to get that like pop at the end. And uh, yeah, you guys can try it out for yourself. See if you can figure it out. See if you can do it. Um, Evample's really good at them. If you've watched Evample stuff, he's like really insane at doing delayed uh, breezies and musties. And uh, yeah, I've been practicing it recently. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys what I've learned and uh, you know, you guys can practice it with me basically because I've been practicing it a lot and I'm trying to get it down. So anyway, let's jump into that. Hope you guys do enjoy and let's do it. So from my understanding, there are four ways to set up the musty. And the first one is obviously just like a backflip musty sort of vibe. That's what a lot of people do. Um, it's probably like the simplest way to do it. I never do it that way because it like, I don't know, it doesn't feel right and doesn't really look that great and all that stuff. So I don't really do that one too often. But I mean, if you get good at that one, it's probably like one of the most efficient ways to do it. Um, you can also do it without doing a backflip. Just, uh, you know, like pulling your car back and then and then uh, doing a musty uh, flake. Then there's the breezy way, which is with the tornado spin. Um, into into musty and then there's basically like a combination of both where you do like a half breezy then cancel it with your air roll and then you're you put yourself into musty position and then you and then you musty out of that so the best way that i found to do the delayed uh musty is either doing it with just a normal breezy um you can really do it with any of them. It's kind of weird to do it with uh, the backflip one or the the front one. You know, it's kind of awkward, but um, I like doing it. I like doing it with like the half, the uh, the half breezy. Um, so basically, what you would do is like do a tornado spin to about like this position, like basically like nothing almost, and then you would cancel it with your. Um, your air roll, like the spin, cancel the spin with normal air roll and get your car to like straight position like this. And then you would um, rotate back and then flick. Um, so like basically it would look like this. And then you'd have to get under the ball then, you know, then it's all about the setup at that point. And you can uh, like delay it, um, sort of like how Evample does it. Let me see if I can get one here. Um, when you do get it, you can really get like a lot of power on it. And it's like kind of un unexpected because um, you make like one touch first and then you kind of like launch it like that. You see what I mean? So like it looks like your shot's kind of over after you make the first touch. And then all of a sudden you just get a lot of power off of the flip cancel. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, so there's a couple of things mechanically that you would need to know how to do uh, to be able to do the delayed musty. Um, first of all is flip canceling. Um, I'm sure you can find a tutorial online, but basically what it is is flipping and then flicking and holding the stick in the opposite direction of your flip. So if you're going forward, you're doing a front flip, you'd flick and hold down. If you're going backwards, flick and hold up. If you're going diagonal, flip and hold diagonal, um, or flick and hold diagonal, I mean. Um, so yeah, you can get that down, I'm sure, pretty easy. The next thing is uh, air roll left or right bind uh, so that you can do a tornado spin um, if you're doing the breezy or like the, the method that I was talking about uh, where you cancel the breezy, basically. Um, and you would need an arrow left or right bind and then know how to tornado spin. Basically a tornado spin, let's say you have an arrow left bind, you would do um, arrow left uh, and then hold right um, on the stick. So whatever your arrow roll bind is, you do the opposite on the stick 
and then you would create like that spin um i mean i'm sure you could do it like opposite way but yeah whatever <laughs> i'm sure someone will create a way to musty off that too but yeah so anyway you would need those two things and then after you have that then you have to like kind of cancel your flip cancel so once you understand like flip canceling like this and then holding it basically what you can do is do a flip cancel and then let go and then your car will continue to spin um so if you do that while you're mustying and then let go your car will shoot up and that's kind of how you get the the launch flick like delayed flick uh off of it so that's kind of what you would have to get down and then after you get all of that down then it's all about putting it together with the ball which is like a battle in itself um, I've been practicing it for a while, practicing breezies and all that stuff for a while, and I'm still not super efficient with it. It's very hard to do um, consistently. I don't know if anyone really does it super consistently. Like, of course, you can do it like consistently when the ball's sitting like this, but in an in-game situation, you kind of only have like two options normally to do it. Um, you can do it off the bounce like this. You try to do it off the bounce you have to pop it up enough you know it's a lot that goes into it and then you can also do it off of the dribble this would be the best way to learn how to do it off the dribble because you will get the most opportunities um with the ball like this rather than it bouncing if you can get it down like that um then yeah it's kind of super op like flakes is really good at doing it off the off the dribble i'm sure there's a lot of players that are um i'm kind of working on doing it off the dribble as well uh, it's quite difficult to be honest but yeah um so yeah it's basically like how you would do it just thought i'd make a video on it because it's something that i've been practicing recently and it's like super satisfying when you hit them um i've hit like maybe one delayed in game i mean i've hit probably a couple delayed in game but like what i can remember recently i've hit like one um and it was super satisfying to hit in game super satisfying to hit in free play even it's just like a nice shot, man. Like the uh, the delayed really just like adds a lot to it um, when you can get it down. Like just hitting a breezy in general is super, or like a musty in general is super satisfying. But if you add the delayed to it, then it's just like ah, it's perfect. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep practicing it. I'm kind of bad at it right now. I have moments where I'm like, damn, I'm actually pretty good at it. There was a decent one. Um, and then I have moments where I'm like, why am I even trying? Because I don't even know how to do it anymore. It really is a lot about the pop and the rhythm that you get into with the pop. Um, if you're doing it like off the bounce, back mod is definitely a good thing to help you like practice it. Um, but yeah, you boys can try that. Let me know what you think of the delayed musty. Try it like this too. Wait, like this? I don't know. I think it's really, really nice when you do it like that. So it like, looks like you're going to do a... It looks way more advanced than what it is, so like it looks good and satisfying to hit. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's a short video um, that I made on it. I might go into a game and try to hit one right now, um, maybe in casual or ranked or something. See if I can hit one. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, look out for more tutorials. I'm gonna be doing uh, random stuff that people have been telling me to do on my streams. So yeah, look out for that. All right, thanks. There it is. There's one. There's the first one. Not bad. It wasn't like a big pop. But, you know, a little delay, a little pop. So I went into a game, uh, a couple of games. I only hit one um, delayed musty off ground. Um, they're, they're really hard, man. They're really hard in game, bro. I don't think I practice it enough to like be good at it in game like i'm i'm decent at it in free play you know like especially when it's off the like off the uh the bounce like this it becomes a lot harder like this like set it up like this and then in game you'd like go like that and let's not even delay do you know what i mean like then you got to worry about delaying it too there it is you know it's much easier to do off the stationary ball but i'll practice it 
you know let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have any success with the uh, delayed breezy delayed musty whatever you want to call it um i think it's really satisfying when you do hit it um i just want to be able to hit it like like uh here i'll try to get one I mean, that's kind of one. Like, yeah, I just want to be able to launch it like every time, bro. <laughs> It'd be so sick to be able to just like go up and then absolutely rip a launcher like delayed every time. But, uh, you know, got a long ways to go before that. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will have more, um, a lot more videos. Let me know if you guys want to see a freestyle to, one, uh, to Grand Champ and ones. Um, let me know if there's any ideas you guys have, but I do have a lot of ideas in my head at the moment that I'm that I'm uh, starting to push out. So yeah, look out for that. Anyway, have a good one guys. I'll see you soon and take care. Peace.